I want to discuss one very important poem that will give an outlook of the entire uh, modern period. And uh, this poem is a kind of a very motivational, inspirational, energetic poem. Is the title? Uh, this was a poem written by Rudyard Kipling, and uh, this was written as a suggestion to his own son, whose name was John Kipling. Uh, so this was a kind of suggestion by a father to the son. John Kipling died in the year 1815 in the First World War. But before that, uh, he has given this inspirational message to his son. And these messages are just like Lord Krishna has given the preachings to Arjun in the war of Mahabharata that was converted in the form of Bhagavad Gita. So that kind of teachings are given by the father to, to his own son. So that is the reason uh, if you have not read uh, Bhagavad Gita, you must read if. It's really very interesting and motivational. So he says that if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. So uh, keep your head is a type of phrase. That means keep yourself cool and calm. So uh, whenever he says the word if, so that's a kind of suggestion that if you do like this, this will happen. So these are there are many suggestions, many preachings by him. So he says, if you can keep yourself cool and calm, when you need to be cool and calm, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, when the people around you have lost their mind, they are shouting, they are being angry. And all of them are blaming you for whatever is happening. The happening may be because of you or may not be because of you, but they have lost their mind. Still, after looking at them, still you are able to keep yourself cool and calm. So this kind of inspiration, this kind of masses is giving to his son. That means whatever the people say about you, whatever shout they shout around you, you should be always cool and calm. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, because many times we have failures in our life uh, when uh, the people start uh, questioning us, they start blaming us. So he says, if you can trust yourself, irrespective of whether other people are trusting on you or not, but you should have the trust on yourself. So he says, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, when the people around you are having a doubt about your ability, about your decision, about your action. So uh, during that time, you should have trust on yourself. But in the very next line, he says that when the people are doubting you, there has to be some reason for their doubt. You must take care about their doubt. Why they are doubting your capability, your ability, your thoughts, your decision. Maybe they are right. There may be some good people. So do not ignore at all. Find out the reason why they have created a doubt. So make allowance for their doubting too. You cannot ignore. And again, he says, if, if you can wait, not be tired by waiting. So he says that if you have the patience, waiting is a kind of uh, very boring thing. Uh, nobody uh, nowadays, specifically uh, in the era of uh, very fast period, nobody likes waiting. So he says, if you can wait and if you're not tired by waiting, because uh, it takes time to produce the result. 
you cannot get the best result overnight so you'll have to wait so if you can wait and not tired by waiting you should not get tired you should have the patience or be lied about don't deal in lies he says that you may be lied about many people can tell a lie about you outside in the society now vingat can you mute yourself okay thank you okay so uh, or being lied about so uh, there are many people around you who tells false things about uh, us in the society which is absolutely not true so he gives a suggestion that when you are being lied about when the people tell lies things false things about you in the society do not deal in lies do not involve yourself in those lies it is their duty they are doing their duty you do your duty there are some people some knaves people in the society who are born to tell lies so do not deal in lies or being hated do not give way to hating so there will be the people around you who will hate you so do not give way to hating let them hate but you do not hate with anyone do not give way to hating do not bring hating in yourself let other people hate you it is their duty so you do your duty do not give way to hating and so again a very important line and yet do not look too good so when you confront the society when you go in front of the people do not try to prove yourself that you know everything you are very handsome do not produce your false appearance so that he means do not look too good do not produce as a false appearance whatever the originality is there inside you you produce the same thing do not try to prove over smart and not talk too wise so when we are talking to the people do not uh, talk in such a manner that every time it feels like you are trying to prove yourself you are very knowledgeable you know everything so that is kind of too wise so do not talk too wise do not look too good now coming to uh, the next stanza there are total four stanzas in this poem so this is the second stanza that starts with if you can dream and not make dream your master dreaming is a kind of good thing we must dream that i want to do like this i want to become like this i want to go go uh, at this place dreaming is a good thing but he says that do not make dreams your master that means do not spoil your time days and nights only for dreaming and if you can think and not make thoughts your aim and he says that you must think think of ideas creating ideas is good thing thinking is necessary but not make thoughts your aim do not spoil your day and night only creating thoughts and thoughts and thoughts so he is suggesting a kind of thing that thoughts are important but those thoughts must be converted into action so your aim should be converting thoughts into action do not put yourself only on aim do not make thoughts your aim otherwise you will never do anything you will have lots of thought thousands of thoughts in the mind but not able to do even a single thing there are many uh, people around you who are like this now uh, in the next line he says if you can meet with triumph and disaster so he says that in our life both the things comes triumph means success and disaster means disaster failures so in our life is full of happiness and uh, sorrow triumph and disaster 
they have to come and go so he is giving a kind of suggestion that how to deal the triumphant disaster so he says that if you can meet with triumphant disaster so and treat those two imposters just the same whether is the success or the failure treat equally to them because these two are the imposters he is telling this triumphant disaster as imposters pehrupia so uh, when we are failed we get discouraged we get demotivated and when we have the success then we get uh, egoist a kind of pride is developed inside and both the things are not good for the development of an individual so he says that treat both the things similarly whether it's a success or a failure treat them as the same in the next line he says if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken twisted by nifts to make a trap for fools if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken so when you talk to people in the society or anywhere uh, you when you are talking to anyone there are some people who will twist your language when they will twist your idea and they will present it to someone else mere muh se kuch baat suna aur dusre jagah pe jaake kuch aur bataya yaar usne to ye bola so they are the naves people they are born to uh, do like this ek jagah se baat uthaya dusri jagah twist karke bataya so you should be able to bear that you if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken and twisted by naves or uh, he says ki aisa log kyon karte hain why they twist why they twist your truth just to make the others fool so when they talk to someone else they uh, talk about you to someone else actually they feels themselves very smart and the one to whom he is talking he they feels they are fools so they are just trapping them like a fool so you should have the power you should have the ability to bear those twisting truths so he is giving a kind of suggestion that you should not get worried when you uh, when you listen that some people have uh, told uh, about me which i have not said then in the next line he says watch the things you gave your life to so watch the things watch about your history look back into your history and try to find out what you have given to your life and you will find that sometime you are broken because uh, life and failures uh, success and failures are the part and parcel of life so he says that if you find yourself broken then stoop and build them up with worn out tools so uh, when you feel like you are discouraged you are broken you are demotivated then there is still a chance to build yourself build yourself up gather all the energies and again try to stand at least once with worn out tools worn out tool indicates that pain you have spent a bit uh, a part of your life many things have worn out like your hard work your will power your enthusiasm your energy they all have worn out so now they are the worn out tools and using those worn out tools you have to build up yourself again when you are broken so this is a second stanza uh, i hope uh, those who are studying for the first time it's really uh, it should be inspiring and motivating uh, he was talking in the previous stanza we saw that he was talking about the failure that now you have failed and you have to uh, wake up again you have to stand up again you have to build your with the worn out tools 
so he is get again giving a kind of suggestion that if you can make one heap of all your winnings heap means bundle so uh, your life whatever the life you have spent must be have some winnings some success must have been there in your life so all those movements those winnings will give you strength so make a bundle of all your winnings whatever you have till now because now you are on the verge of failure you have failed and now you have to build up yourself so for that recall your winnings make a heap of your winnings make a bundle of your winnings and that then again put yourself into risk for yet another time to build yourself and risk it on one more time one more turn and be ready for the pitch and toss pitch and toss means head and tail so just uh, like the coins there are the heads and tails so again be ready for the heads and tails and there is no surety that you are going to win and again he says you may lose again you are uh, putting yourself building up again and it is possible you may lose again then he says then again start again at your beginnings so even after failures after failures do not quit again start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss never breathe a word about your loss means do not repent on your loss never talk to other people about your loss and your failure this is the kind of thing is telling that do not spread failure to other people never breathe about your loss the loss the failure should be digested inside yourself and should you should be able to bear that loss you should be able to bear that failure in the next line he says that if you can force your heart nerve and sign you sign you means the muscles so if you can force it is not so easy thing to digest the failure without telling to anyone that i am failed i am a failure man it's not an easy task so how you can make it easy you have to force your heart force your mind nerve means mind force your heart force your mind force your muscles to serve your turn force them that they should agree to what you have decided what you have decided not to tell anything about your failure to anyone this is your decision and it is only possible when you are forcing your heart mind and muscles to serve for your turn to serve for your decision long after they have gone so now those failures are either, are although gone but you have to sustain you have to build up yourself again so and so hold on when there is nothing in you so he says that now you are failed again and now you are not telling your failure to anyone whatever uh, the worn out tools were there that is also gone your old relatives your own family members they may not support you they are gone there is nothing in you no energy no motivation nothing in you except the will so he says that there is one thing which is very important that is will power if you have the will power nothing in you only will power is required except the will which says to them hold on so if you have the will power it will say hold on still there are the chances to win hold on so he is emphasizing on the will power that it is because of the will power we can get anything in our life okay now coming to the last stanza the fourth stanza if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue again a very uh, informative and inspirational line uh, where he says that you may be a very successful man uh, a very uh, kind of friendly man that much friendly that people will 
make a crowd around you to talk to you to meet you still you are able to keep your virtues that's a great thing or walk with kings that means even if you are walking with the rich people you have connections with the rich people kings means rich people nor lose the common touch never lose your virtue never lose your originality how much famous you become how much successful you become never lose the common touch never lose your origin never lose your originality if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you again the next suggestion he says foes means the enemies and friends so you should build up yourself in such a way that neither your enemy nor your friend can hurt you if all men count with you but none too much you become when you become too much successful that people uh, love to take their name with you all men count with you they will try to connect themselves with you because you are a successful man but none too much but you should not be heartily connected to anyone so do not get heartily connected with anyone otherwise that will give a kind of pain when they will go apart from uh, from you when they will die or when they will cheat you so that will give a too much pain so do not get attached heartily with everyone uh in the next uh, stanza in the next line he uh, is giving uh, the emphasis on the importance of time if you can fill the on uh, unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run here he says that we must take into consideration the importance of time how one minute is important forget about days weeks months years talk about one minute first and in one minute there are 60 seconds so how we are utilizing this 60 seconds of the time of our day that will decide our future because a runner an athlete who is uh, running in the olympic or somewhere in the race that one second decides whether he is going to get victory or he is going to be defeated so that 60 seconds is worth of distance run that one minute can make your life or can destroy your life so he is uh, suggesting his son to value the importance of time and lastly he says that if you follow all the teachings that i have given you yours is the earth the earth is totally yours and everything that is in it and whatever is there on the earth all belongs to you that means all the success of the earth will run behind you if you are following all the teachings that i have given to you and which is more and what is more important is that you will be a man my son you will be a man you will be a human being a true man that is far and foremost important than of that the in the previous line he says everything will be yours but what will be the most important thing you will become a human being a true human being so uh, this was the complete poem very uh, motivational what i feel and i'm very sure you also must have liked this poem